So you got about 1.2 billion people. You got a market size that is about the market size of India, slightly bigger. You got a land mass in terms of resources that 10 times the land mass of India. You get the only continent in the world that is actually self-sufficient in terms of mineral resources. You got a continent that is more than self-sufficient in terms of arable land. 60% of the arable land has not been cultivated. Obviously, you got that endowment. You got people that can create the market. You need financial capital to be able to unlock that so that we can have a, a proper supply system. A large number of resources are becoming scarce now and Africa remain a large number of untapped opportunities if people want to feed the world so that we we'll stop fighting over water resources and land resources on part of the world we need to be able to have proper agriculture it's the continent where you can have 60 percent of arable land is uncultivated the water resources is large the land mass is significant therefore the future opportunity to be able to produce is in the continent. It's, it's always important to be able to market the product, which is the continent, to the people that are willing to put their money behind a conviction. And demonstrating, explaining what the continent is all about, explaining the investment opportunity, explain the return capability and making sure that people can get more familiar with the continent is always a good thing otherwise it's going to look like an exotic investment and nobody's going to seek it so trying to market the continent to the people that are investor based is a good thing to to do and the value is both uh, immediate and it's also we need to build the brand uh, attractiveness of the continent on a longer term in the minds of an investor. It's important for people to see the continent as an investment destination with a good return capability, with, an with asset classes that they can invest in that is comparable to other investment destinations. For a very long time, the narratives about the continent has been trying to help and trying to help, you help out of the remnants of money that you have. And that help in itself will not be sufficient to catalytically uh, being able to provide supply to a lot of things that are short in the continent. But looking at this as an investment opportunity, which it should be looked at, is a much better way to be able to attract a flow of money into the continent. The fact that you are dealing with 55 countries isn't itself a problem. So if we can figure out, get this continental free trade area signed, we start moving towards integration and be able to create one market of 1.2 billion people that is addressable, 1.2 trillion in terms of GDP that's addressable, that will allow people to start taking us seriously. Now, because when you look at countries today, you look at the demand capacity of the country, you look at it within the border of a country. When you look at it in, a, in terms of the continent as a whole, it's a much different way you look at it and therefore you're able to locate uh, industries uh, there. And, and therefore, for, if you ask for me, one thing is for all of us to put our force the moral force, the force of our various industries, and our ability to advocate around the continental free trade area, and the idea that integration of the continent enable all of us to rise faster. The idea of EcoBank is something that was maybe novel, when we were formed 31 years ago. But now, in the area of integration, we now have a bank that is able to reach 33 markets instantly. The future is really belongs to whoever 
can participate in a large number of markets. Our ability to ensure that there is free mobility of payment opportunity, enable free mobility of trade, enable people to travel from country to country without needing to worry about the ability to transact in a business way, ability to provide information to people about all the countries in which we operate where they can make decisions, understanding that we just an eco bank away irrespective of which part of the, the continent that you land is pretty important. And what EcoBank is doing is then making sure that we can get our customers, get our various partners to integrate this into everything that they do. So we feel very, very, very uh, comfortable that the, the, the assets that we have as, as EcoBank to be able to unlock value in the continent is material and we're doing everything that we can uh, with the help of our partners, with the help of the government, with the help of our staff and with the help of our shareholders uh, to make sure that we are able to deliver the reason why we were formed which is to create a much better economic outcome uh, for the people of the continent.